Did you know that AnyTones has inserted a vulnerability inside its DMR terminals? This vulnerability is visible when you are using the encryption, the ARC4 and the AES 256-bit encryption. These two types of encryption are totally compatible with Motorola Enhanced Privacy, Enhanced Privacy RC4 and Enhanced Privacy AES. But when you are using the encryption inside an AnyTone DMR terminals, there is a vulnerability which um, which make it which introduce uh, some weaknesses inside this uh, implemented inside implementation uh, about the, um, the encryption. I will talk you what is the vulnerability inside. I have previously talked before on some others video, but. I decided, I decided to make a video, a dedicated video on this vulnerability inside Anito. I will show you just now, but before, just now, but before credits. First, a small disclaimer. This video and the information it contains have no malicious purpose. All information and all tests has been made on my own equipment. I have my own terminal here. This is the result of my own research and various experiments. And it is intended for educational and informational purposes only important the vulnerability identified on any tone products is based on ivs it's based on initialization vectors when you are using rc4 and arc4 encryption or as encryption to improve the encryption and to avoid repetition inside the key stream generated when you are encrypted vo encrypting voice or data it's important to use initialization vectors these initialization vectors is normally a random number it should be as random it should be as random as possible in the in the case of any tone this iv the first iv the first initialization vector is always identical it is always the same always 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 the same the next ivs will be computed will be based on the first iv so when you are using an identical the same iv when you are starting all voice conversation the next ivs will be computed and will be predictable this is the vulnerability that i identified two years before in 2021, but I decided to make a short video dedicated on this vulnerability. Now let's study the DMRA encryption, which is based on the following principle. I will show you schematics. First, a secret key. Second, an encryption algorithm. Third, a random number, which is the IV. Fourth, a vocoder to encode a human voice, an exclusive OR, and this makes the encrypted voice sent over the air. Now let's decompose this schematics. First, the secret key. The secret key is 40 bit or 256 bit. An encryption algorithm, which could be ARC4 or AES, and a random number which should be a 32 bit number, this is the IV. Insert the secret key inside the encryption algorithm. Insert the initialization vector over the LFSR inside the encryption algorithm. Mix this one to obtain a K stream. This is a bit field. Now, encode the human voice by using the vocoder, the DVSC. 
DivSI Amber Blast 2 vocoder, mix the case trim uh, and the clear voice by using XOR, Exclusive OR, and you will obtain the encrypted voice sent over the air. Add the IVs got from the LFSR, Linear Feedback Shift Register. Now, the Anytone encryption is based on the following principle. Replace the random number, the 32-bit random number IV, by a fixed number. The fixed number has always the same values. This is 0x123467 By inserted this fixed number in the LFSR, you will obtain always the first IV, the same IV, so the IV use the same sequence and are now totally predictable. The key stream change every super frame, but it's based on a predictable IV, so it will introduce some repetition on each new voice transmission. So this will provoke the voice, so the voice will be encrypted with predictable key stream so it will easier for a hacker to recover the key stream used and to decrypt the voice without knowing the secret key. So be careful when using any tone encryption. This is important. Now let's make a demonstration with DSD. DSD is Digital Speech Decoder to observe the fixed IVs. Let's go for the demonstration. I have with me my Anytone DMR terminal. I have launched SDR Sharp and now I will launch DSD. This is my own DSD, which is able to decode encrypted, uh, encrypted data. Okay, this is launch. The key used for RC4 and the um, and AS are totally uh, totally um, arbitrary. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is not the problem here. Let's make a first test in clear mode. There is no encryption. Clear mode. Test in clear mode. In clear mode. Test in clear mode. Good. Test in clear mode. Good. As you can see here, we are. This is there is this is a clear unencrypted call, so there is no encryption. And now I will switch in RC4 with, for example, the key number one, key KID number one, this key. And here, as you, we will see the initiation vector, the first IV will never change. Test in RC4. Test in RC4. RC4, okay. RC4, okay. As we can see here, pi header, there is pi header. We are, this is an encrypted call and the pi header contains the RC4, um, the ARC4 encryption uh, ID, the key ID, and this is the first IV here. 0x123456678. This is always the same. Test RC4 number 2. RC4 number 2. Test RC4 number 3. RC4 number 3. And test RC4 number 5. RC4 number 5. As you can see, IV here is always the same. The first IV, the first ME IV, message indicator or initialization vector is always the same. So the next IVs computed here uh, will be exactly the same. And you can see that the first byte is always the same for the different transmission. Now let's make the same test in AS. I'm now in AS. I'm now in AS. AS encryption. AS. AS encryption. As we can see, the algorithm ID here has changed, but the IV remains always the same. This is always the same.
Test a yes, number two. Test a yes, number two. The IV doesn't change. Test a yes, number three. Test a yes, number three. It doesn't, it never change. If I switch on the key ID, a yes, number two, for example, just for a small example. Test with a yes key ID Test number two. A yes key ID number two. This is exactly the same method here. Key ID one, key ID two. Just the key ID change the IV. Normally, the IV should be uh, should be totally um, random. Should be a random number here. The, this is never a random number. So the IVs here generated here are always based on this first IV. So this is predictable. It will never change. This is the vulnerability that I observe uh, one year, one or two years uh, before when uh, when I bought this uh, this DMR terminal. This is the end of the demonstration. Of the demonstration, I go back to the PowerPoint. As we observe with BSD and the demonstration, the initialization vector IV or MI, MI is message indicator. This is the same name of IV, but used and applied for P25. The IV MI of the PI header is always the same. This is this value 0x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we observe the same phenomenon with ARC4 40 bit and AS256 bit. This is exactly, exactly the same as we saw here. This is always the same number when you are starting a voice conversation by pressing the push to talk button. The first IVs, the first IV is always, always, always the same. How can a hacker decrypt voice on your network? If a hacker can find the different K streams used for each super frame, one K stream for one super frame, he will be able to decode your network without knowing the key. It's important just by reproducing the K stream used for each super frame because the IVs are predictable. The K stream used for each super frame will be the same, will be predictable. It is more or less difficult to implement depending on the condition, but it's not impossible, a bit complex. If the hacker have access to the radio, it's easy for me, it's possible. Easy because the hacker can inject in the radio directly in the terminal some known frame to find, to easily find the key stream used, but without access to radios, to terminals, to your equipment, it is more difficult for me, but not impossible. It will need more time to do it, but for me, it's possible. Okay, so how the hacker can decipher, can hack your AnyTone, uh, the AnyTone algorithm? Just you have here the global algorithm used here, it will remove it, just remove this algorithm and it will place only, I will just remove my line here, click. The hacker just need to find this part, this part and just need to have the previously computed case stream, one case stream for one super frame, it will change for every super frame. So every 360 millisecond, a new case stream is needed, but the case stream used will be exactly the same. So the hacker only need this. It don't need the algorithm previously uh, described. Just by doing this, by generating this data one one k stream for one super frame it can easily decode without knowing the key this is important to uh, to note without knowing the key just by knowing 
this this key stream no key is needed why such vulnerability is it intentional or is it forced i don't have the, the answer to this question so the question is open can we call it a backdoor a vulnerability a vulnerability yes it is a vulnerability it is a vulnerability but we can can we call this a backdoor i don't know if it if it is intentional yes it is a backdoor if it is forced for me it's a vulnerability but not necessary backdoor why i say it because maybe there is a geopolitical issue here between china and usa china is any tone usa is motorola maybe motorola force any tone to use uh, to, to reduce the, the 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 level of the encryption maybe it, it's 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 a question i don't know i don't have the answer maybe motorola this is the usa forced the china forced any tone to use this uh to use this vulnerability i don't have the question i don't have the answer if you have the answer don't hesitate to uh, uh to leave a comment below the video uh i would happy to have this answer um this question remain open we don't have the we don't have the answer but they remain open uh in all case there is a vulnerability inside the implementation of the encryption on any tone dmr product if you want to know more about encryption basic privacy enhanced privacy don't hesitate to consult my training on the subject the link is below the video in description you will find some ped training but if you want to learn on to learn more about encryption how does it works on motorola and on uh, itera and uh, some any tone products some icon product don't hesitate to consult my training on the subject this is the link is below below the video in conclusion what i can say is just be careful be careful if you use an anytone terminal with dmra encryption dmra encryption can be a rc4 or aes if you use dmra encryption on your network because you are not as protected as you think it's important okay this is the end of this video the final word just thanks for watching and see you soon on the next video bye bye